This is Miss Stormy, Youth Librarian with the Corpus Christi Public Libraries. Today I will be sharing another craft with you, and today's craft is this shape raccoon. So this is a paper craft where we will be working with a lot of shapes. So this is going to be a good craft for children around the ages of three and four and up. It's a great way to get some practice in with shapes as well as scissors and gluing those fine motor skills that so many of our crafts work on. So what you'll need for this craft is some sort of brown, tan, or gray construction paper. I will be using gray. Some black construction paper. For the gray paper, you'll probably need a whole sheet. For the black paper, you can use some scrap paper. Scissors. A pencil or something to mark out your shapes on and you may want a ruler. So we won't be measuring out our shapes, but if you wanna get the nice straight lines on your triangle, you may wanna use a ruler. You'll also need glue or a glue stick. So the first thing we're gonna do is get all our shapes ready. So we're going to cut out some triangles. So we're gonna cut out two large triangles. As you can see, that's gonna be the head and the body, a medium sized triangle that's a little longer, that's going to be the tail and two very small triangles for the ears. So let me get my gray paper and we'll start doing that. So here is the construction paper I will be making my triangles out of. And again, I have a ruler, so I'm not going to measure out the sides of my triangles. This is just going to help get a nice straight line. I'm going to try to use as much of this paper as possible. So I'm going to start at the top making some of my large triangles. So I need two large triangles. Over here on this corner where I have a slant, I'm gonna make my long triangle that's gonna be my tail. and two small triangles for my ears. So this is what I have right now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out. Alright, so now I have my five triangles. As you can tell, the one, the raccoon I am about to make is going to be smaller than my example. That's totally okay. These triangles just need to be relative in size to each other. What I mean is that we need two small ones for our ears, two larger ones for our body, and then one long one for our tail. It doesn't matter if they're the same size as my original or not. So for my two larger ones, I am going to go ahead and put this one down. This is going to be my body and then I'm going to overlap the points and glue those together. I 
I'm then gonna go ahead and glue on my toe. So I'm actually gonna flip this over and glue my tail on where the long pointed end of my triangle is going to stick out. more glue. So my raccoon is starting to take shape. I'm going to go ahead and glue on the ears. And I have the basic shape of my raccoon. And I'm going to take my black paper and get my other shapes that I need. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'll bring my example bag, is I'm going to make a circle for my nose. So you can freehand your circle. I am going to trace out a circle using the top of my glue stick lid because it's just the size I need. I'm going to go ahead and cut out my circle and glue that down to be my nose. And the other shapes I want to need now are mostly rectangles. So I don't really need to measure these out. What I'm gonna do is just cut out some strips on my black paper here. So I have three strips of black paper here. I'm gonna put those on the tail and then I'm gonna cut out a slightly thicker one for the head of my raccoon. And I'm going to do that first. I'm just going to glue this down on my raccoon head and then trim out the sides. And I'm going to do the same thing with my raccoon tail. I'm just going to glue these down. Let's see, those actually might be a little too thick. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one in half. So again, the sizes of your strips of paper are going to just depend on how large you made your triangles for your raccoon. That's much better. And right now I have this very silly raccoon tail, so I'm going to go ahead, flip this over, and trim the ends. And the only thing left for me to do is add my eyes. Now I have these eyes, but if you don't happen to have any at your house, you can always 
use white paper and draw on it with a black marker. And there we go, my simple shape raccoon is done. Again, a great craft for young children to talk with them about shapes. You can always count the shapes. I have five triangles here. One, two, three, four, five, four squares. One, two, three, four, and one circle, three if you count the eyes. So great way to have fun with a craft and also talk with young children about shapes. I hope you enjoyed this craft. If you do it at home, please share with us how it turns out on our Facebook page at Corpus Christi Public Libraries. Also check us out on Facebook for more virtual programs and our website at cctexas.com library. On the website, you'll find a list of all the virtual programs we've done as well as a link to our online catalog where you can place books on hold for curbside pickup at any location. Thank you for joining me for this craft today, and please tune in again very soon. Goodbye!